गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग सेफ वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड फाइनेंट स्टेट ऑटोमेटा रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशंस एंड बेसिक्स ऑफ पुश डाउन ऑटोमेटा टुडे वी विल सी द डिजाइनिंग ऑफ पुश डाउन ऑटोमेटा टू डिजाइन अ पुश डाउन ऑटोमेटा इज समथिंग लाइक अ ड्राइंग इट इज एन आर्टिस्टिक स्किल which requires a lot of patience a lot of practice as i have told you in the class and in previous classes that automata requires practice so i am again requesting you to do a lot of practice for this subject so i am starting with the topic how you can design a push down automata now for it let us take an example where we are given a question that we have to design a push down automata which accepts the string of type 0n 1n which means 0 to the power of n and 1 to the power of n we have to design a push down automata which can accept a string where 0 will come n number of times followed by 1 coming n number of times both 0 and 1 have to come equal number of times but zero has to come before and after zero one has to come so how can we design such type of push down automata see push down automata has a stack which is used to store which is used to remember so we have to use this concept of a stack while designing of push down automata that equal number of zeros and equal number of one has to come so to design a push down automata let us say that what shall be the states in push down automata there are seven tuples let's first consider the states that what shall be the states so we all know that there must be an initial state so let's assume that there will be a state q which will be representing the initial state we call it the start state now the first input symbol should be zero in our push down automata so we say that we will remain in this state q till we keep on remaining receiving zero as long as zero is there in the input we will remain on this state only so we are in this state q if we have seen only zero so far so for receiving zero the state will remain q as soon as we receive the first one we receive the first one we will change our state so this is i am telling you that how you can design you start with the initial state think for an input and we say for a equal number of zeros we will remain in a state zero on a state q only for receiving the input zero as soon as we receive one we will change state q to p or q0 to q1 whatever you wish so we are saying that we will state change from q to p now we will count this one by remaining on a state p as long we will receiving will be receiving one in the input we will remain on a state p as soon as one is finished and we are on a state p there should be no input string it should become empty because after zero one will come and after equal number of ones empty should come and if we receive after one nothing we should move to another state that is the final state so like this we can say that we assume for designing of push down automata for the example 0 and and 1 to the power n we will be having three states q p f now let's see about other tuples i hope you have understood that for this example there will be three states one is q which will be used for zeros one is p which will be used for one and another is final state which say that the string would be accepted but this does not solve the entire problem we have to find other tuples also now we consider for the stack symbol we all know that there must be some initial symbol on the stack let's say it z0 z0 represent that we are on the starting symbol of the stack and we have not counted any zeros and one up till now what all symbols we require in the stack we say 
that we have to find equal number of zeros and equal number of ones and initially zero has to come so we are on a state q0 as soon as we encounter zero we start counting the zeros so how can we count the zeros we can count the zero by pushing something into the stack so we take another symbol of the stack that is we are saying x you can take any symbol we are saying capital x will be the symbol which will be pushed to the stack whenever we encounter zero so x is a symbol which will be pushed into the stack whenever we find zero so it is used to count zero so whenever we will be receiving zero we will be pushing x into the stack depending upon the state we will come to that point in a short while now we have seen the problem that we have to design a push down automata which is accepting equal number of zeros followed by equal number of ones for it we require three states q p and f and two stack symbols z0 and x the main thing is the movement of this push down automata what is the transition function so let's see what shall be the transition function as you can see in this slide that what will be our transition function our transition function would be this will be our transition function which says that we are on a state q initially we get zero and the stack is empty that is z zero so we have to remain on a state q if you remember i said that as long as we'll be remain getting zero we will remain on the same state so the transition function says that will be remain on a state q and as long as on a state q we will be getting zero we will be counting the zero by pushing equal number of x so we push an x into the state stack so the stack becomes now x z zero now we are on a state q the input symbol is zero again there is an input string with some number of zeros followed by some number of ones so we take we are getting another zero now on the top of the stack there is x we are on a state q input is zero we have to remain on a state q i told before we have to count zero by pushing an x so we push another x so these two transition functions are used to count zeros we'll be pushing x into the stack whenever we found zero and the state is q now slowly and slowly when we'll be scanning the input string this zero will be replaced with one so which transition function will come into the picture the state remains q instead of zero we get the first one and on the top of the stack obviously there is x so as soon as we receive the first one and on the top of the stack is x we change the state the first thing is that on for one we have to make the state p and instead of pushing now we have to pop for every one encountered we have to pop x so we pop one x for this one as we are popping x on receiving one if there are equal number of zeros and equal number of ones when we will be encountering every one we will we'll be encountering each x for each corresponding one and x would be popped so by the time the string becomes empty there will be only z0 onto the stack now for q1x the next state becomes p and the symbol is popped from the stack now the state is p so the state changes to p we will be getting the input one and the top of the stack is x for every one and x and this state changes to p we will be popping the symbol from the stack that is x will be popped now this will be repeated till we get p1x and equal number of ones after all the x have been popped out the state will remain p the input is been consumed so it become epsilon and the top of the stack is z0 as soon as we receive this we release we change the state to f and z0 remains in the stack and f becomes the final state that is the string is accepted so on looking at this transition functions it looks that it is simple but actually we have to design this transition function the question is opposite the transition function is not given to us what is given is the input that is equal number of zeros 
followed by equal number of ones so how we have to say is that we have to count zero so for counting zero we push some symbol into the stack and for counting one we push that symbol from the stack by changing the state now let's see that how this push down automata which we have designed works to make it more clear now let's take an example where we say that sorry let's take an example where we say that the input is triple zero triple one so this is our push down automata the input is triple zero triple one on the stack there is z zero and the state is q this state takes zero as an input and z zero as an stack symbol so what we have to do is whenever on a state q we encounter zero we push the symbol x onto the stack so the next moves becomes we push x into the stack and one zero is removed from the input as you can see for another zero q zero x what was the time shift function saying that we have to push x so the scene the push down automata looks like this two x comes into the stack and one zero remaining into the input now again on receiving zero we push that x into the so you see there were three zeros in the input three x have come into the stack now the scene comes the state is q the input symbol is one and the stack symbol is x as soon as we encounter one what we have to do we have to change the state q to p another thing what we have to do for every one received we have to remove x from the stack so what will happen see what happens the state becomes p and the input two ones remains and one of the x is removed from the stack now for p is the state one is the input symbol x is the stack symbol what we have to do for every one we have to remove x and the state remains p itself so the next step would be p 1 x i hope you are able to understand now we again one and x has been encountered so what we will do we will remove one x again now epsilon is the input means nothing remains on the input and p is the state and z0 is on the top of the stack so by this we say that we reach to the final state now this is the one of the example of that how we can design a push down automata though it is not so simple and as per the news which is coming we hope that soon you will be having your summer break and in june or july the university will be opening you will have to give your exams so prepare for it solve as many numericals you can solve i'll be sharing certain pdfs go through those pdfs and in case of any difficulty do contact me on whatsapp thank you